Why Philibert entered the underworld that night, there are different opinions about. But what is certain is that when he crawled through that hole, he left the world of the living, never to return. It's November. Under cover of night, a man has sneaked through the courtyard of a hospital in the middle of Paris. He works there. But right now, he doesn't want to be seen. He's reached his destination. And at his feet is now an entrance. A gateway to an underworld of corridors stretching for hundreds of miles under the city. The rumor has it that six million people are buried down there. In ancient times there were mines, but during the last decades they've been used as cemeteries because the ones above ground were full. He holds the candle he's bought with him tightly. Then he takes a deep breath and slips into the darkness. Philibert crawls all the way down the long ladder and finds himself standing in knee-deep water. It's cold. He lights the candle. The flame makes him squint. Down here it feels as if the silence is alive. It crawls into his eyes and under his shirt, into his ears where it nests. He shivers and looks at the ladder. Far up is the small opening. He can see stars. He shakes his head and pushes away the thought of climbing up again. I just have to remember the way back. He nods to himself. Philibert begins to walk in what he believes must be the direction of the nearby park. He's heard that there's a secret room full of liquor over there. That's where he's headed. The candle gives him comfort, but a sudden gush of wind makes the flame dance vividly, lighting up the skulls next to him. It seems as if they are watching. He looks back. The corridor disappears into darkness behind him. A strong urge to turn around runs through his bones. But he's come so far, he continues. He walks for hours and begins to get more and more worried that he's lost his way. Then he feels a burning pain. The candle is almost gone. His blood freezes to ice as he sees the flame getting smaller and smaller. And now, it's gone. Total darkness surrounds him, and he holds out his hands to try to find a wall. His fingers meet the rugged skull of someone who died long ago. Poor Philibert never found his way out of the catacombs. He died down there, alone in the darkness. It would take 11 years for his body to be discovered, and he was buried where he was found. A memorial plate has been made in his honor. It reads, The memory of Philibert Esper, lost in this quarry on November 3, 1793. Found 11 years later and buried at the same place on April 30, 1804. The most tragic part is that Philibert died only a few yards from an exit. Rest in peace. This story is from Travel Tales Paris. If you're going to Paris or dreaming of it, you'll find interesting, fun, scary, and sad stories about people and places in this magnificent city. The books are created to motivate children to read more and to share knowledge. Find them on the App Store. Happy reading, Young Writers Guild.